County leaders try and ease parents' concerns after this violent brawl at Verina High School. How they plan to prevent this violence in the future. Everyone can just go into anywhere and just get where they want as long as they have a pistol. And the latest in a string of armed robberies in the Richmond area. What masked gunmen took from this 7-Eleven in Chesterfield County. And a Richmond woman missing for five years is remembered by loved ones. How they want to revive this cold case. Your CBS 6 News at 6.30 starts right now. Working for you. CBS 6 News at 6.30 starts now. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tracy Sears. Thanks for joining us tonight. School and community leaders met with parents today to talk about a large fight that broke out at Verina High School just last week. CBS 6's Joe St. George is just back from that public meeting. Joe, what do administrators think their next step should be? Well, Tracy, officials aren't making any hard promises, but they are listening to parents and what they want after this school fight was captured on a cellular phone. It quickly circulated online, and this was the scene inside Verona High just a few hours or so ago. A couple hundred parents joining school board members, the superintendent, board of supervisors, even the Commonwealth's attorney and a state senator to discuss what can be done to prevent fights. The topic quickly turned to parents having conversations with their kids. Ideas to improve the image of Verina High were written down on a whiteboard, but there was quite a consensus that the school board should reconsider the cell phone policy with parents claiming social media not only leads to fights, but allows them to be recorded into viral videos. Currently, phones are allowed outside the classroom. I want the phones gone. I don't think they should be allowed to keep their phones. One thing, the lockers are gone. We used to have lockers. Lock their phones up in their lockers, and you cannot get them to the end of school. A lot of parents like Sherry, very emotional during this meeting. Now, parents said they are responsible, too, for encouraging the recording of the fights by sharing news stories and videos of them online. It remains unclear if this will result, will result in any concrete changes, however, Tracy. But parents told me they are fed up with all these fights. Over to you. All right, thanks, Joe. What well, has been five years this week since a Richmond 20 year old disappeared? Well, tonight the family is raising money to increase the reward. This was the scene in South Richmond this evening as a gospel benefit was held to bring awareness to Ariana Davis, who goes by the name Peaches. Her parents are hoping to increase the current reward of $5,000 and to encourage anyone with information to come forward. If you know the, this information and you, and you don't speak out, I really don't know how you can live with yourself. Ariana was last seen at her parents' house in eastern Henrico County five years ago on April 30th. She said she was going to the store and she never returned. Well, after a rain-soaked Saturday, the clouds finally parted for a pretty nice Sunday. Meteorologist Mike Stone has a first look at our forecast. Not bad today, a little chilly, but not bad. <laughs> yeah, uh, better news for the race and for the squirrels. And this nice weather trend is going to last for a couple more days, Tracy. In fact, clouds across the area right now have broken up, and we have at least part cloudy skies across much of the area. It continues to be on the cool side. You know, our normal high this time of year is in the low 70s, and most spots today only made it up into the upper 50s and low 60s. Currently 60 right now in Richmond, but we have some spots down towards the south where there are more clouds there. Temperatures there are in the mid 50s. There's the rains that went through this morning and the clouds breaking up a little bit across the area. Uh, over the northeastern coast, we have this big area low pressure near Nova Scotia. It's bringing in that cooler air behind it, so temperatures are not going to warm up a lot tomorrow. But we have this little patch of cloudiness right here across New York and Pennsylvania, and some of that will settle down into our area during the day tomorrow. So we'll see some clouds tonight. Might have a patch or two of fog in a few spots, a low down to 42 degrees. A couple spots will drop down the upper 30s. And tomorrow, being the upper 60s, might have a sprinkle in northern neck, middle peninsula. The rest of us, just the clouds that mix. But we're tracking 80-degree weather in the seven-day forecast. We'll talk about that coming up. Trace. All right, thanks, Mike. And with this nice weather, yesterday's postponed NASCAR race at RIR was back on this afternoon. Our Lane Casadante joins us live at the racetrack with wrap-up. Hi, Lane. 